Welcome to N1 Mathematics. We'll be looking at the introduction to exponents. Please hit that subscribe button to support this YouTube channel. In order to do exponents, we first need some pre-knowledge. What symbols are used in mathematics? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and therefore, and not equal to. Greater than, example 6 is greater than 4, 3 is smaller than 5, greater than or equal to, smaller than or equal to, not greater than, and not smaller than. An element of example 2 is an element of whole numbers. 2, 126 is not an element of whole numbers. We get natural numbers, integral numbers. Even numbers such as 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Odd numbers such as 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Prime numbers such as 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13, which cannot be formed by multiplying two smaller numbers. We get rational numbers and irrational numbers, real numbers. When multiplying like signs, the answer will be positive. When multiplying unlike signs, the answer will be negative. The same rule applies for division. When dealing with different operations, there's a term that we use to help us, which is called bod mass. Now, first we will deal with brackets, then orders, then division, then multiplication, then addition, and then subtraction. Now, a variable represents an unknown term. The rules state that we cannot add or subtract unlike terms. However, we can add and subtract like terms. Make sure you're familiar with your calculator and how to work your calculator in order to do exponents. There are three factors that make up an exponential expression. It is the coefficient, the base, and the exponent. Here we have the entire expression with a power, the exponent of 4, the base of a, and the coefficient of 3. In terms of exponential laws, here we have a base a to the exponent of m multiplied by the base a to the exponent of n. Now, if the multiplying bases a are the same, then the exponents m and m are added and the coefficients a and a are multiplied. Therefore, the base a to the exponent of m plus n. If the dividing bases a are the same, then the exponents m and n are subtracted, and the coefficients a and a are divided. Therefore, we would have the base a to the exponent of m minus n. Here we have brackets with a base of a to the exponent of m, and outside of the brackets we have an exponent of n. Now, if the base a and the exponent m are to the power of an exponent n, then the exponents m and n are multiplied. Here we have the base a and b inside the bracket to the exponent of m. Now, make the bases of both sides of the equal sign the same or equal to each other. So therefore, we would have the base a to the exponent of m, the base b to the exponent of m. Here we have a fraction inside the bracket, all to the exponent of m. Now, when you raise a fraction in a bracket to a power, the numerator and the denominator will both be raised to that power. Therefore, we'll have the base a to the exponent of m over the base b to the exponent of m. In terms of exponential laws, exponents must always be positive in the final answer. Here we have the base a to the exponent of minus m. In order to make this positive, we would have to create a fraction and take the base a below the line. Therefore, it would be 1 over the base a to the exponent of m. Here we have a fraction inside the bracket, all to the exponent of minus m. 
And remember, exponents must always be positive in the final answer. The numerator A and the denominator B would have to be inverted or swapped around in order to make the exponent positive. Therefore, we would have a fraction of B over A to the exponent of N. Now we have a root sign. If the base A and the exponent M are to the root of an exponent N, then the exponents M and N are divided. Therefore, in order to simplify it, in order to get rid of the root sign, it will be the base of A to the exponent of M over N. To simplify this term, we have two bases, A and B, both to the exponents of M. In order to get rid of the root sign, we would say A with M over N and B with M over N. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe. Thank you.